Good morning, Wind Chasers. Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. And I want to talk to you today again about the Holy Spirit uh, and how he reveals to us. So here's the deal. Um, here's the deal. That's one of my favorite lines. Here's the deal. So um, I, uh, you'll notice my background. I got little dandelion seeds floating all over the place. I like those little helicopters that blow down from the uh, maple trees, you know, and spin and, you know, loop, 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 down they go like at 50,000 knots or something. And um, so uh, I'm sitting on my front porch and, you know, I love hearing the wind blowing through the trees. But uh, recently my wife and I were at a uh, fundraiser for um, the Counseling Association's foundation that she works with, uh, works for, and... Um, we were, there was, they had one of those silent auction thingies going on. And there was this, this basket of stuff. And in that basket was uh, wind chimes. Not the little small, uh, little pipey things that go ding, 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 ding. I don't mind those. But I prefer the ones that have the, you know, the ones that are really cool are the ones that are like three, four foot, like, 50 feet pipes on them or something like that. Forgive my slight, slight use of hyperbole there. I'm just exaggerating. Um, anyway, uh, the ones with the deeper sound, you know, the one ding, 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 ding. I like those. I don't like the little bamboo-y ones. No, no, no. So anyway, here is this, this uh, wind chimes. And they got like, the, you know, they're like the big ones. And I'm like, I got a bit on that, hon. I got a bit on that. And so... Um, you know, I'm putting and I'm watching. I mean, I am circling like a vulture in case someone's like outbid me. I'm going to get my wind chimes. And I and it was funny as we have a store right in town that I could have gone over and got them at. But this was helping. And I thought, well, why not get them here? You know, kill two birds, one stone, help out the foundation. I'm getting my wind chimes. Up. Well, I got my wind chimes. And they are beautiful. Ding. I just, they're supposed to be tuned to Amazing Grace or something like that. I've yet to hear that. But anyway, um, so I'm sitting there on my front porch the other day, and there's a slight breeze, a little, a, a small air show going on. If you watched last week's uh, Chasing the Wind, and, and 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 every now and then I hear ding, 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 ding. Just these different little tones. Sometimes it'll it would a little stronger breeze would come up and ding 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 ding. ding. It'd be it was beautiful. And, I, and I'm sitting there, and I had one of those moments, those little air shows of my own, when Holy Spirit shows up, and and starts talking to me, and and says uh, and says, Mark, that is that is my the wind chimes. You're hearing my song. Oh, you're to hear. The music, the song, the Holy Spirit's opus, the Holy Spirit's um, musical masterpiece. Um, just, it, it, it was just so wonderful to just sit there and, and hear it and realize it wasn't just music. It wasn't just noise. Some people would hear it as noise. But the Holy Spirit says, I, I have a song. And one of my favorite, favorite, most favoritest uh, passages of Scripture is Zephaniah 3. It's in the Old Testament, kind of in the middle. Uh, one of the minor prophets. How do you like that? Oh, you're just one of the minor prophets. It's like you just pastor a small church. Okay, whatever. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take delight in you. Take delight in you. He will quiet you with his love and will rejoice over you with singing. I think I've talked to you about this. I think there's like three years I'm going on this, this show. But, you know, maybe you need to hear it again today. That God delights in you. He's not disgusted with you. May not always like everything you do, every choice you make, but he delights in you. Um, 
Yeah, you know, the other day I was uh, talking to my dad, and my dad made the comment to me. He goes, "I'm proud of you, and your wife, and what you're doing, and the and the choices you've made. We've made some bad ones, but you know, when your dad tells you he's proud of you, and and I could hear that he took delight in us. That's a beautiful thing. That's a wonderful thing to hear. <clears throat> the Lord your God is with you. He's, he's he's right here in this in this room with me as I'm recording. He's mighty to save." He's not a little wimpy God. He's mighty and he does this wonderful thing of saving us from ourselves, from our sins. He will take great delight in you. Great delight. Just, oh yeah, you're okay. No, God doesn't say you're okay. Oh my goodness. I am so enthralled with you. I'm just, I just, I'm just, your picture is in his phone. I was going to say in his wallet, but we don't do pictures in wallets anymore. His, your, your picture is on his phone. <clears throat> He takes great delight in you. And then it goes on to say, but he will, he will quiet you with his love. Wow. In, in, this, in this world, there's so much going on. Uh, you know, we just, you know, the, the news, there's just always something. And it's just, some of the stuff is just ridiculous. And it's a dog and pony show and it's smoke and mirrors and everything else. But in the midst of all that goes on in our life, we see that God will quiet us with his love. Are you going through something today that you're just like, it's like chaos and you're just like, man, turn the volume down. I, I just can't hear. I want to remind you this morning, wind chasers, that God will quiet you with his love. When you feel the love of God come over you, you, are, you, you know that there's a peace that quiets us. But then it says, and he will rejoice over you with singing. No today. There is, there is a group called uh, Urban Rescue, I believe, is who does it. It is a song called uh, a, The Song of the Father. And if it's not Urban Rescue, it's someone else. So look it up. It's called The Song of the Father. And uh, it's a wonderful song. I love the song because it reminds me of this verse, which is where I think they got the idea for the song. That God dances over us. He has a song that he sings over you. Can you imagine? I think you're so great. I love you. I don't know that God sings like that or not, but it would be good enough, you know? I mean, if that's how he wants to sing over me, I'll let him. It doesn't matter to me. The fact that God sings over us is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So when I, next time you hear the wind chimes, and it's funny because I did, you know, I, I look at windmills. I love windmills. It just reminds me of God. I see the floating seeds in the air. Of course, the pollen in the air has been really bad, but uh, reminds me the Holy Spirit is moving. But to to sit there and hear the song, and I hear it too when I hear a mighty rushing wind. It isn't always just those little gentle breezes. There's times that the Holy Spirit speaks to us through that, but there's times the Holy Spirit says, you want to see something? You ain't, I'm, going to, I'm going to start blowing at 50,000 knots. And I found out that that's like you could circle the earth like in two seconds or something like that with that. But, but you know what? That's Holy Spirit. He's in a whole different realm than we are. Um, to hear that mighty rushing wind that they heard on the day of Pentecost, but to sometimes just hear that noise, that, that, that music of the Holy Spirit. I remember in college, uh, I had to take uh, Intro to Fine Arts with Harvey Collins. And I remember Harvey Collins saying something that was very, very powerful. He said, don't come into this class think, and tell me you don't like country music or country music. You don't like classical music or art. You don't know what you like. Now, I was five years older than most of the other students there, but I sat there and I thought, he's right. I don't know that I like classical music or not. I don't know that I like art. <clears throat> and I opened myself up to say, I wonder if there's something there. And um, if there's one thing I know with God, when God speaks, any old bush will do, just like he did with uh, Moses, when God spoke to Moses in the burning bush. He doesn't look for the burning bush that turns red in my yard every fall. He'll speak to us through whatever means he has, whatever means uh, is available to him. Sometimes the music sounds like a mighty rushing wind, like different movements. One of my favorite um, uh, 
I guess it's classical. It's from music. It's or no, it's by uh, Gershwin. It's the the Rhapsody in Blue, and you know, it's like there's this peacefulness. There's times when God is bombastic. That's a good word for you. And there's times when God is just wind chimey. Ooh, there's a word, wind chimey. And other times when he is tornadic. Ooh. I just am going to encourage you today to hear the music and to listen for the song of the Father and the music of the Holy Spirit in your life. So I'm going to leave it right there. Wind chasers, keep chasing the wind because the wind is chasing you. Until next time, I'm Pastor Mark. Grace and peace.